Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Very good evening to watching this video. Uh, okay, so let's today start by uh, speaking about South Indian Bank Limited. So, uh, in one of the value picks, I think, uh, is South Indian Bank. I think many times uh, in my penny stocks and good stocks discussion videos, I have covered about South Indian Bank. Not only because of the discount value is trading to is, uh, what to say, the, what to say, uh, you can say it as a trading discount when compared to book value. Not only that, but what is the reason why this company is trading discount to its book value? If you go and see its book value, it would be, I think it would be in the range of around 20 rupees or 25 rupees. I don't know the number correctly uh, because I have not analyzed the results for the recent quarter. So basically, if you consider what is happening in South Indian Bank is pretty amazing. I think in previous uh, day or previous week or so, some big uh, buyer has bought some shares at, at 9 rupees in South Indian Bank. So which made the share price to move up to a great level that is accepted. Okay. But on another hand, you should understand one thing. Even after posting a profit of around 60 crores this quarter, the market capital of this company is now in the range of around uh, 1600 crore. So, for an investor who is investing in any kind of bank, let it be South Indian Bank or let it be by, uh, what to say, I, I, my favorite IDC First Bank Limited or State Bank of India Limited and or any other P, PNB Bank, Union Bank, etc, etc. Two or three factors that you must see. The first is NPA ratios. What are the NPA ratios? So, basically what is NPA means? Not performing assets. Okay. So you must see out of the total loan book how much percentage is the NPA. So that is the first thing you want to see. Now the second thing you want to see is that out of this NPA how much is the PCR ratio. So PCR basically means provision coverage ratio. So out of this NPA norms okay how much provision they have given. So someday some banks will have 78 percentage 80 percentage. So which means out of the total provisions they have already allocated 78 percentage of the total provisions that have been set aside. So which means basically the 78 percentage of the what is the fear is being over. So you must really check what is the PCR ratio as well as this ratio for this bank. But coming on to the another hand, why this share price is not moving up? I think I have personally traded this share, I think uh, four or five years back in the range of around 20 rupees plus to be precise or maybe a baby or sort of so. But if a bank is ready to give credit, then only the bank will generate extra revenue, right? So if you see for South Indian Bank, I, I don't hope so. I'm seeing an incremental, uh, I would say, would say the incremental loan credit facility that's been given by South Indian Bank. So that is one of the key main problems uh, so that uh, it could have an adverse effect on South Indian Bank because when the when you are not going to create any new credit in the market, so which means the rotation of the cash comes down to a credit distance, so which means basically your net interest margin comes down, so which means basically the amount of profit you are going to get is going to be pretty less. So even after earning 60 crores or 70 crores per quarter, yes, the profit is less, the percentage of market capital less, yes. But it is not like that, okay, the market could change, this company could re earn themselves. Basically due to this COVID pandemic, right, these things are many happen in many banks. They have conserving their cash reserves so that they could be able to lend to the good persons because we don't know how do the conditions change but basically now people are speaking the vaccine hope is near the vaccine is ready etc etc okay all of them are accepted but on the other hand right if you see what's going to happen for real is going to be for real so unless until the company is going to improve their credit things i think it's going to be very difficult for this company to move the share price up to the greatest extent but yes uh, surprisingly for two months once or three months once you could have a sharp move of 10 percent yes that is acceptable that could that could happen but that is not for temporary purpose okay that that is only for temporary purpose not for permanent purpose the only basic market thing that we should have is the value creation the growth creation i think Seeing the momentum this happens, I think it has taken a pretty long. If you if you can I mean if you go and see in June month or so, the share price was in the range of around nine rupees or nine point five. Then again the result again the result was bad. The show the share price was hammered to six rupees, six point five rupees. So then recently or two or three days, right, the share price has moved to a greater extent. So think and move it correctly so that you could make it correctly. And now uh, this is an update regarding uh, what is it, the South Indian Bank. So which basically saying that. Uh, uh, and they have targeted IB, IB, IC private limited. So, I mean, this is a type of acquisition they are doing. So, it is a good thing. Uh, basically, 
uh, this is distributed ledger technology so solutions for the finances of this sector so the objective is financial investment okay that's a pretty good investment that they're making let us see how it's going to help them and uh, one more thing can i enter now this is a point of view of many customers because i mean uh, many investors the point of view is that after i mean people would never tempt to buy this kind of shares but after seeing a 10% move in one day they think that okay if i buy tomorrow also the share will raise 10% i mean many times it will not work or sometimes it could work but on the basic concept that you should choose correctly the bank which you should go okay always remember the key points what i told the npa ratios the provision coverage ratio and how much credit net worth the company is going to give and how, what is the capital adequacy ratio i think rbi has set, have set aside some norms so above that the bank should definitely have i think south indian bank has having a good capital adequacy ratio but it needs still more to improve so that it could be able to reward its shareholders not only through dividend but also through the incremental share price momentum so this is about south indian bank limited hope you like this video friends and make sure you click the subscribe button so that you could get many more updates regarding many more shares thank you and i see the video very soon